next fight I'll be fighting Bongani Melase, um, South African kid. Um, he's, uh, he's got a very impressive record, 14 fights, 14 wins, 12 by knockout. Kid can fight, I won't take that away from him, but uh, look, uh, he's coming up against me. I, obviously, I'm bringing a lot of experience. You know, uh, so it'd be uh, youth against experience. Really put the punches together with some class there. I've never been knocked out, and I don't expect to get knocked out by this kid. You know, uh, you know, it all comes down to how I prepare for my fights. You know, I, I work pretty hard in the gym, and and, and part of uh, being able to withstand, you know, punch and to you know to avoid being knocked out, it, it comes down to working hard in the gym, and that's what I do. The kid I'm fighting is about six foot tall, and he's a southpaw. You can hardly find six foot tall junior, I mean, welterweights out there who are southpaws. So I was fortunate enough to get uh, King David said, and you know, Johnny Lewis opened up his doors for me, and I really appreciate it. And Johnny's been helping me, you know, in the gym. Every time he sees a little mistakes, you know, he corrects me. Johnny is probably, you know, one of the best trainers in the world. You know, and, and to have him there helping me, it means a lot to me. The one thing that Lovemore's been able to achieve is longevity. You know, he's uh, put in a lot, so therefore he's been rewarded for those efforts. God, he's, uh, he's an inspiration to so many of the younger bo boys that are coming through the ranks, and uh, he's the utmost uh, professional. He's put in the hard work, and as I said, he'll be successful again. That's the kangaroo way. Skippy. It all comes down to how you live your life. I, I live a good, clean life. I don't drink, I don't smoke, you know, I've never touched drugs. You know, I, I watch what I eat, I always live a healthy life, I'm always training, I'm always in shape. You know, uh, my life is all about my children, being there, doing, being responsible, doing everything for my children. It's important, foods are very important. I make sure my kids eat foods all the time. You know, I cook for my children, you know, I take them to school, I help them with their homework, you know, I, I play games with them, you know, I do everything for my kids, you know, and that's the best thing that I enjoy in life. I, I didn't hear thank you, Dad. <laughs> it's, I'm not just a boxer, you know, you know, people, Sometimes when I walk in the street or when I go to school, you know, except those who know, some people don't, you know, don't even know what I do. They just think, oh, he's just another father, you know, but uh, that's what I enjoy. You know, I, I'm a father, you know, and um, I'm, I'm just, I don't look at myself when I walk in the street, I, look at, I don't look at myself as, a, you know, I don't walk with my neck up saying, you know, I'm a world champion, I'm this, no. I'm a, I'm a human being, I'm a father, and I treat other people with respect. No! And, you know, and that's what motivates me to work harder. And, and I just believe it's, you know, um, I'm still as good as I was a couple of years ago. The fight will be at, uh, you know, the Emperor's Palace uh, in Japan. This fight, in a way, is going to kind of determine where my future lies in boxing. You know, um, if I'm, if I'm going to continue with this fight, I need to win convincingly. You know, not just a win, you know. Anybody can win fight, but I need to win convincingly then I'll continue fighting. If I just win and it's not convincingly enough, right. I'll walk away.